Over the past year or two, I've started seeing advertisements for title fraud insurance. So the people who sell this insurance um, say that fraudsters are able to uh, add their name to your property, essentially do a fraudulent deed and ostensibly transfer the title from you, the homeowner, to them, the, the fraudster, the criminal. And then the person then uses that to get a mortgage on your house. And uh, of course, the criminal doesn't pay back the mortgage and uh, the bank forecloses on your home. This is the, um, the way it's described by the people who sell title fraud insurance. So I thought I'd talk about this. And first thing I have to say, I practice law in Massachusetts, only in Massachusetts. And I do not know what goes on in other states, Arizona, Florida, places like this. All right, so this could be a real problem in other states. But here in Massachusetts, I have never seen a, a title fraud scheme. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I just look at this, this stuff all day long, real estate law, real estate documents, um, an owner's title and so forth. And I've never seen one of these schemes uh, even attempted. So keep that in mind if you live in Massachusetts and you're considering buying title fraud insurance. First of all, the deed does not convey title. The fraudulent deed does not convey title. Um, and if a bank is, is stupid enough to grant a mortgage or give, uh, give a loan to somebody uh, who fraudulently uh, signed your name to a deed and transferred title to himself, that mortgage is no good because the person doesn't have ownership of the home. Now, yes, you, you would, in theory, you'd have to go to court to get the court to sort of extinguish the mortgage uh, or invalidate the mortgage or whatever, but there's, there's almost no way legally speaking, that the bank could foreclose on a loan that they granted and took your home as collateral when the borrower did not have title to the home. All right, a fraudulent deed will not transfer ownership. It just won't. Ostensibly it will. So you could attempt to get a loan, but keep in mind the bank is going to make inquiries into the borrower. All right, they're gonna want the borrower's social security number tax returns, um, work history, payment stubs, all these things. So somebody trying to do this would either have to give the bank all kinds of his personal information or fabricate everything, uh, which seems to me nearly impossible uh, to do. Now, it doesn't mean somebody can't attempt it, but I have not seen it done. And if you live in Massachusetts and somebody's trying to sell this insurance to you, um, title fraud insurance, ask them to show you uh, real evidence of, of this happening, right? Not just testimonials, but actual documents from, uh, say, the Registry of Deeds where a fraudulent deed was recorded, and based on that fraudulent deed, a bank foreclosed on, on a loan that was granted based on the, the uh, fraudulent deed, all right? I don't think anybody's going to be able to provide you with much evidence of that. And then lastly, I just want to distinguish between title fraud insurance and title insurance. So title fraud insurance is what I've been talking about here. Um, title insurance is something different. Title insurance protects your legal ownership to the house after you buy it, if a legal problem crops up. So let's say you buy a house <clears throat> and you later on, you go to sell that house or to get a, a loan on the house or something like that. <clears throat> the next lawyer looks at the title and says, wait a minute, um, there's an issue with a, a probate that's in the chain of title, or there was a lien on the property that the lawyer missed when you bought it, uh, or there's some kind of legal problem like that. Those are very real problems, and title insurance protects you against those problems. All right, so if you have a question about um, title insurance, about real estate law, uh, or if you have a general question about title fraud insurance, 
uh, feel free to send me an email uh, or send me a message on my blog and I'd be happy to, to talk with you.